welcome back to my youtube channel this is christopher present in you today we are going to discuss how to install windows using loafers if you are new to this channel please subscribe we are going to start today i will show you how to install loafers how to install using loafers at the time. We are going to install Windows 10. Right click the application, run as administrator. Select the window you are going to install with the user on the stem. In this loafers, there are so there are two important things you should note. First of all, you select uh, an image file window. The second part is the partition scheme. The partition scheme is the most important part because there are two partition schemes RBL and GDP. Mostly, NBL is for hard description less than 2 terabytes, and GDP is for hard description above 2 terabytes. Mostly, so. You should check your hard disk partition system so that you know which type of partition system you're going to use to install your Windows using loafers. For my hard disk, it is MBR. So I'm going to use MBR system to install Windows. Then there is here volume part. You can rename it to what you want. You can write it Windows Windows 10 Windows 10. You can write it for whatever you want. Then for the file system, if it is GTP, GTP has you can select which file system you want. You see, they are two. But that's two and NDFS. But because my hard disk is my hard disk is NDR, and the R has only one file system, which is NTFS. This one, the default, select always the default. The default is for and this is the need. Then you can start this process will take about four to six minutes before it is over so in this in today's video it is very important so before in the last video I, I, I showed you how to make flash bootable okay. using command prompt. You see, when you're using command prompt, there are certain steps which you should, you should you are supposed to follow. There are almost eight steps. Let's say you are in a in a place where you cannot access internet. Remembering those seven steps is a headache sometimes if you are not interested in IT IT things. So this Rufus application is a simple way. It's just right clicking, selecting the image file and you are good to go. You don't have to care of those seven steps. It is just an easy way of installing Windows. All what you are supposed to have is you have downloaded an image file of either Windows 7 Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11. All you need is just an downloaded image. 
This is the best app you can use to install Windows. As the files are being copied, go to the comment, se comment section. Tell me what you want me to discuss in the next video. If you have any problem using Lopas application, you can comment below. If you have anything to discuss about computer software, you can comment below. Even a high is appreciated. All comment section will be read and will be given a answer. And the highest number of comments for an individual will get 10,000 US dollars. So you can get that money for now. As we continue to install, to install the the ISO files into the flash disk, I'm going to discuss something that I'm going to discuss in the next week. The next video, I'm going to take you step by step on how you are going to install Windows. You have already either made the branch bootable, you have copied the Windows file, or you have used the Lofax application where ISO files have been copied from your branch disk. Now you have the Windows already in your branch disk. Now I'm going to take you step by step on how you are supposed to install Windows. So please subscribe to this channel so that you get all the latest updates concerning software. It's remaining like two minutes. See the files are halfway. This process is almost over. So, when the ISO files are copied to the flash disk, it's now ready to you are ready to install the Windows. So, what you should make sure that flash disk should not be interfered or other other files are, sup are not supposed to be copied there. When installing Windows, because this will interfere with the Windows file. For example, if you insert a crash disk on another computer, maybe the computer may have virus, and this virus may affect may affect the working of the installation of the Windows. So, when you are copying, you should not interfere. With the flash disk before you have installed the windows because if you interfere you will just start this process again that will be time wasted time consuming this process is over now you are ready to install the windows in the next video i'll show you how to install windows You've seen a fresh piece. Goodbye. Make sure you subscribe to this channel.